also, there's the second exhibit done uh, for the zoo, and it, as you saw, it was for the pygmy hippos. Again, continuing on the trend of not having actual fence barriers as the barriers. Oh uh, yeah, it's a neat little habitat. Got a very rectangular pool, but <laughs> it was kind of the best I could do to make it work uh, the way I wanted it to with the underwater viewing area. But as you see here, it's still got plenty of land space for the small herd of hippos. The small herd of small hippos. Have the little food area for them, the little wall wallowing pit. Lots of bushes and trees again, you know. And as I mentioned in the Now Monitor uh, video, I'm going to be <laughs> using that combination of items again, so. There you can see all the hippos just having a nap, all lined up nicely there. Uh, need a little more detailing done on that, the actual shelter and of course the staff facilities, but uh, yeah. So this is the above ground. I made the water like a nice tropical blue. And then if we go back around. You can see into the exit the indoor exhibits. You can see the non monitor exhibit there. And then from the underwater viewing kinda won't work as nice since the hippos, this is like the one time none of them are in the water. <laughs> Usually they're always in there. Oh. They're very loud. Like they're not very big, but they didn't change the footstep sound from the regular hippo. Also, I will say, the pygmy hippo is probably my least favorite model in the game. <laughs> I don't think it's very accurate. Its head's a little big, and its body's a little big. Like, the real pygmy hippos are much more slender, and if you don't believe me, here's a picture from Google, and then here's a picture for comparison that I took at the Toronto Zoo. Kind of stopped putting the pictures in the videos, because no one ever watched that far anyways. But I digress. Here, uh, here we get a view of them from in the water. Teleporting to the bottom. You can see swimming along, enjoying, enjoying the water. They seem to spend a lot of time in the water. It's like the water is just at eye level. I probably should have made it deeper. I, don't know. I think it's cool though that you can see the land and the water. You just have to be like me and be short and you get a better view of it. Uh, but yeah, that's the second exhibit down for the Sioux. Uh, it's going by quickly. I have a bit more free time these days. Uh, and I think in the next video, like I've already built the next habitat over there, but I think the next video I will release will be finishing up this building. Uh, I'm probably going to have another indoor building in this zoo, but uh, it's not going to be one giant building again. Like I've done in the previous two zoos, with like the reptile house and uh, the desert. Anyways. Pygmy hippos are pretty cool. Again, I don't think the model's the most accurate, but, you know. C'est la vie. I'm, I could, couldn't do any better. Uh, but yeah. That's gonna be it. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day. See, see what I mean? They're all, all in the water. Alright, have a good day.